Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 164 solution. So today's aptitude questions have taken from the concept of time, speed and distance. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So previously, if you see means in our channel, we have posted about many off-campus recruitment. So if you want to apply for those companies, means you can watch that particular video and apply for that particular company. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, how many seconds will a 500 meter long train take to cross a mat walking with a speed of 3 km per hour in the direction of the moving train if the speed of the train is 63 km per hour. So in this they are, they are giving for two objects, one is going to be train and another one is going to be man and both are walking in the same direction. Okay, And uh, when two objects are meeting that is a man or train or two trains relative speed comes into picture okay so in this question also we have to solve this particular question using relative speed and they have given the train length as 500 meter and speed of the train is 63 kilometer per hour and man speed is going to be 3 kilometer per hour so man is not going to have a length and also we are not going to take into consideration that since it is of only minimal length so how to solve that particular question is first we have to find the relative speed when both the objects are moving in the same direction we have to subtract their speed to get the relative speed okay so 63 minus 3 if you do means you will be getting the uh, speed of the train relative to man is going to be 60 km per hour and that 60 km per hour we are converting it to uh, meter per second why means uh, uh, we are having the train length in meters and speed and all in kilometer per hour. So we are converting the speed into meter, meter per second. So uh, to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, you will be multiply that speed into uh, 5 by 18. So if you multiply 60 into 5 by 18, you will be getting the answer as 50 into 3. And we have to find the time. So time is equal to distance divided by speed okay so distance is going to be 500 meter divided by speed is going to be 50 divided by 3 so if you invert that particular 50 divided by 3 you will be getting the value as 3 divided by 50 so cancelling these two terms and uh, multiplying the value you will be getting the answer as 30 seconds so option b is the correct answer for the first question and the second question is two good strain each 500 meter long are running in opposite direction on parallel tracks their speeds are 45 km per hour and 30 km per hour respectively. Find the time taken by the slower train to pass the driver of the faster one. So what they are saying is two trains both are of 500 meter long and they have given the speed as 45 km per hour and 30 km per hour and they are running in opposite direction. Find the time taken by the slower train to pass the driver of the faster one. So what they are asking us to find this we have to find the time but the slower train need not to pass the faster one completely but the first uh, the driver compartment will be there no in the faster train the slower train has to overtake that particular uh, faster train driver compartment that is enough for this particular question okay so relative speed what we will be finding op since it is an opposite direction 45 plus 30 we have to add the speeds and converting into, into meter per second we will be having 125 divided by 6 so we have to this is the point what i have said we have to find the time taken by the slower train to pass the driver of the faster train and not the complete train not the entire train we have to find just it has to pass the driver of the faster train so distance will be length of the slower train that is distance is going to be 500 meter if it was it if it want to pass the complete train means you will be taking the length as uh, distance as length of the slower train plus length of the faster train you will be considering okay so since it is not the complete train we are taking the distance as 500 meters so time is equal to distance in distance divided by speed and converting that speed uh, inverting that particular value and solving for that particular equation you will be getting the answer as 24 seconds so option b is the correct answer for the second question and the last question is two trains are running in opposite direction with the same speed if the length of each train is 120 meters and they cross each other in 12 seconds then the speed of each train in kilometer per hour they are asking so in this we have to find the speed so relative speed is going to be uh, speed of each train is going to be x kilometer we uh, we don't know what is going to be the speed of each train so we are taking it as x kilometer per hour and relative speed is going to be in since it is an opposite direction we have to add the speed of each train so x plus x it is going to be 2x so speed is equal to distance divided by time taken so 2x is equal to distance is going to be 120 plus 120 divided by 
uh, time is going to be 12 seconds divided by 12 you will be getting the answer as x is equal to 10 and this will be in meter per second we have to convert it into kilometer per hour so to convert the meter per second into kilometer per hour you will be multiplying the value by 18 divided by 5 so 18 divided by 5 into 10 if you do means you will be getting the answer as 36 kilometer per hour so option c is the correct answer for the last question so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel for more videos